What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we do have the winner announcement, the final results of the Global Boss Image Design Contest, however, it seems like there might be some controversy in it, at least from the data that I'm seeing isn't matching up with what is being posted. Now again, um... <sighs> I want to really dump into this because, of course, they, they could have been like a different way to vote for those in China because, of course, I don't think they can use Google Forms in China. So maybe there's a different way. But the percentages we're seeing are matching up very close to what we're seeing somewhere else. And I just I just want to get your guys' opinion. I want to show you guys all the results that we have so far to see what this actually looks like. So, um yeah let's jump right into it make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button if you have not and go enter the giveaway we did earlier today uh, it's a really 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 good uh origin 5 doom terminator vulcan really amazing account so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button go do that let's jump into the the contest and what i think is a little bit of controversy <laughs> So first, the actual winner announcement, and then we'll get into some of the data that I wanted to show you guys as well. So of course, here it is. We have the winner announcement for the global boss design. Uh, if you were one of the nominees that got into the even drafting method, you're gonna get 10 cores of transcendence and 10,000 gems, which is pretty good for taking your time and just submitting something like this. Uh, those who had the best popularity, these are the top what? Uh, nine it looks like, not actually 10, nine of them. You're gonna be getting 20 cores, 100 heroic scrolls, and 20,000 gems. And then we have the actual winner here. Uh, turns out it was Eswalt. So yeah, 40 cores of transcendence, 200 heroic scrolls, and 30,000 gems. There is a little backstory we'll go over as well here. So everyone knows Bell Rain, but no one knows me, Eswalt. Eswalt and Bell Rain are both outstanding members of the Goddish family. They have been smart and thoughtful since they were young and they learned family magic very quickly. Uh, they were considered by the family to be candidates for saintliness or saint, saint saintess, saintliness? I don't know. Uh, but the difference between Eswalt and Bel Rain is that she doesn't have a heart and awareness of self sacrifice. So no matter how good and hard work Eswalt is, the family will not pass on the qualifications of a saint to her. On that day, Bel Rain has chosen the family by the family as a saint and went to the highest heaven and become the God, envoy of God. As Walt's unwillingness and jealousy finally turned into endless hatred, she resolutely left the family and went to a distant place to find darkness. So, I mean, it is cool artwork, I will say that much. Maybe me personally, I just don't feel like this fits the game. It just doesn't have the aesthetic that our game has if you know what i mean it's not exactly the aesthetic we typically typically run and of course we see this the boss image design contest voting top 10 so this looks like all of them out of the top 10 so unless i missed something i didn't see like a dedicated top 10 voting section and that might be somewhere my confusion is kind of coming in and again the voting we did through Google Forms might only be the international version. It might not include the Chinese votes as well, because again, they don't have Google over there, which is why they have tap tap. So maybe they did a different voting system because when we do come over to here, I want to show you guys. Uh, so in the boss design contest, you can actually see the results essentially. If we really take a look, there was an, overwhelming majority of people that said Fallen Fenlir was their favorite. 29.8% comparison to Eswalt at 16.3. But when we take a look at this here, those are not the same. Like not even by far. And I'm wondering if does this, is this like a separate percentage added up here? Like again, if there was like a top 10 that I'm not aware of, which again, I don't think I saw a dedicated top 10. I'll just double check while we're here just to make sure. But the last post I saw was in fact, the one on the 24th where it says the clock is ticking, uh, wait no more to vote for your designs. And yeah, it's already the one that I submitted on, which seems to be this one. Uh, and the percentages seem a little skewed to compare to what the results actually were on this document. Actually, it might be easier if I turn this to dark mode. Yeah, you can see it a little clearer in dark mode. So, um, I mean, if we did take the top 10 here. 
I wonder if the, the top 10 even like match up. So we got Void Duke, Darkon, which was one of the favorites, honestly. It was actually still above Eswalt. But over here, it was like not even close. Eswalt had the top. The thing is, Fallen Fenlier, 11.75%. I don't, I mean, I guess this is for global. And the, the only thing I can see is that literally she made up Basically, she had half the vote of Fallen Fenlier, which means that in order for her to have percentages like this, she had to have triple the voting, like, in China, right? Is that is that pretty much? Because if she doubled his vote, they'd be dead even. Because it was basically that, I mean, if you really look at it, I mean, like, I guess it really comes down to the sheer number of votes. Maybe China actually participated a lot more. So even though this was a very high percentage at 239 votes for Fallen Fenlier, maybe over there they had like thousands of votes and that could really skew it. But I just wanted to kind of talk about this because it just felt a little weird looking at the numbers that we do have and then comparing them because they don't really compare and match up very well. I mean, they are cool. Like, I will admit, this is a cool artwork. I will say that. It does feel very AI created, but someone could have designed this. And I know there have been people on Reddit as well talking about, like, hey, I've actually seen this on Pinterest before. Uh, and, and nothing saying the person who made it on Pinterest couldn't be also playing Idle Heroes. That's fine. Uh, I just don't know who submitted this one. If I kind of want to look back and check something real quick. So I actually did a little bit more digging and found this right here from the WeChat voting. So I will say the difference of where is Fallen Fenrir? Like, yeah, so Fallen Fenrir, which you can't even really see very well. It's actually down the very bottom here. Let me actually shift this up just a little bit if I can uh, a little bit. That's more than a little bit. Um, so, yeah, as had 295 votes versus 57 so in reality, I mean, I guess what we need to do is, no, not even this page. We need to take a look at this page here. So let's let's map this out just to make sure there's not anything. 239, right? 239 plus how many did he get here? 57 plus 57 is 296 votes, okay? Versus 295, which again, this one vote here pretty much trumped everything else that he had gotten here which is why i want to make sure you guys understand we got 131 this is where the 426 came from which does that does it actually have the vote count here it does not but i will say that is specifically that that looks like that is the reason why because we got both of these different voting situations coming in and as you can see the popularity is just way, way higher. So as much as people want to make this a controversy, it just comes to global voting, which is why what you see on our Google Sheets or Google Doc here is not gonna be the final results here. Just wanna make sure we clarified that so there wasn't confusion because I've already seen a ton of Reddit posts and everything. At the end of the day though, no, there shouldn't be any controversy. It truly is the winner of the contest.